Hey, Kenneth. Can I ask you a favor? Is it okay if you come back a little bit earlier today? If it's not too much trouble, there's something on my mind that I really want to talk to you about. Huh? Going back early? Not happening. Why on earth should I bother listening to you, Marsha? Ugh, I could have guessed. Then texting's fine. Well, don't even bother asking me in the first place, you dimwit. What's your request? Come on, spill it already. Make it quick. I've got better things to do. The thing I wanted to ask about is, I want to get a divorce from you. I've prepared the divorce papers. So, grant me this divorce. Huh? Why is this coming up all of a sudden? What is going through that pea-sized brain of yours? I just had enough of living with you. That's all there is to it. Huh? Don't be such a moron. I'm the one busting my ass to put food on the table for Rosie, you failure. Why would we even consider getting a divorce? Don't you dare start making moves without my permission. My feelings are my own. They're not for you to decide. Oh, please. You're in absolutely no position to make remarks like that. Let's face it. You're absolutely pathetic when it comes to cooking and cleaning. Is there anything you can do right? And just a friendly warning. If you dare speak disrespectfully to me again, I'll make sure to beat the living daylights out of you. Consider yourself warned, loser. Even if you hit me, I won't change my mind. I can't go on living with you. What? You're saying that you can't keep living with me? You're being all high and mighty, even though I'm the one providing for you? Feels like you're intentionally trying to provoke a reaction from me, doesn't it? Oh, don't you dare play innocent with me. I've endured your abusive language for far too long. You've laid your hands on me countless times, and yet I've somehow managed to tough it out. I've shown patience, even when it felt unbearable. But now, you've stooped to new lows by tormenting poor Rosie. Let me make one thing crystal clear. If you dare harm my daughter, I won't stay silent anymore. Huh? When did I hurt Rosie? After she joined the school tennis team. You deliberately broke her brand new racket, didn't you? And on top of that, you had the audacity to forbid her from being part of the team? Even though she was absolutely excited about it, do you even have a clue how much you trampled on her feelings? It's like you have no regard for her happiness whatsoever. Oh, that. Tennis is just a game. Girls don't need to play sports. And you threw away her career advice documents, right? You said you didn't like her choice of college. You did that for almost no reason, and you wouldn't listen to either of us. She thinks she's all high and mighty, trying to get into some fancy college she doesn't need. Why can't she just settle for a cheap local community college? It's not like she's worth the investment. Think about it. We'd save some gas money, too. I can't be bothered to drive all the way to some far-off place just to visit her. I mean, come on. Let's be real. What's the point of studying for girls anyway? They should just stick to doing housework. I'm not sure I agree. Rosie has her own dreams and goals for the future. I'm just looking out for you. If our daughter pulls her weight with the housework, it'll make your life a whole lot easier. Plus, it's way more valuable for her future to learn how to do the housework properly. You think I'm in the wrong? I think being able to do housework is good, and you said it's useful. But she's still 14, so it's okay for her to learn little by little. I think it's more important for her to do what she likes. Ah, you're a terrible mother. That's certainly a great strategy, to raise our daughter to become nothing more than a failure as a wife. I'll be satisfied with that as long as Rosie's happy. Don't be so soft on her just because you're a failure. I didn't mean it like that. Fine, I'll go home earlier today. But remember what we talked about just now. I will not divorce you. Don't try to ruin my clean record. Morning, Mom. Morning, Rosie. Did you sleep well? Yeah, fine. I can relax more at Grandma's house, so I slept like a log. That's good to hear. Are you okay, Mom? You must still be in pain, right? I'm sorry for worrying you. The painkillers are helping me now, so I'm okay. Right. I'll take your pajamas to the hospital now. Is there anything else you need? I could go buy something if you want. Sorry to ruin your Saturday. I didn't think I would be hospitalized. I was too optimistic. 
It's okay, I don't have class today. It's not your fault anyway. It's his fault. That jerk must be insane to get so enraged after he asked for a divorce. Hey, you can't call your father a jerk. Are you serious? He deserves to be called a jerk. If I didn't get in trouble for it, I'd call him something much worse. He even pushed you down the stairs. He broke your nose and leg, mom. How could you possibly defend him? I can't believe it. I did argue back pretty heatedly against him. But he went way too far. He was always insulting me and you. He gets angry when things don't go his way. Hey, we should report him to the police, mom. But it is true that I got injuries from slipping and falling. There's no proof dad pushed me. I'm such an idiot to believe he would have a civil discussion with me. When you talk to him in the future, let me join you. If he tries to hurt you, I'll split his skull with a baseball bat. That's too much. You can't respond to violence with violence, Rosie. Don't copy his habit of hurting others with words or violence. Otherwise, you'll be no better than him. I don't want that. You see? So please don't. I will divorce your father. I won't change my mind about this. So don't worry. Okay, Mom. I'll do anything to support you with the divorce. Thanks. Those words are support enough for me, Rosie. Grandma and Grandpa are on your side, too. They said you can count on them if you're in trouble. Right. I should have asked for help earlier if this was going to happen. Sorry for dragging you into this mess. Because I thought I should be patient. I've thought for such a long time that I need to be better. I thought it was fair for him to get angry. Because I was useless. Anyone would feel that way after being insulted like that every day. You've been brainwashed into thinking that. I would be like that too if you didn't support me, Mom. I thought it was all my fault. You grew up to be such a considerate person. I'm worried. Because maybe you're a little too kind for your own good. That's not true. I do bad things behind your back. Really? I set off a stink bomb in Dad's car the other day. Wow. That is quite bad, huh? But to me, you're a good girl. I'm always on your side, Mom. Thank you. By the way, if you want to visit me in the hospital, can you leave here before the afternoon? And if your grandparents are coming too, can you tell them not to come until the evening? Oh, why is that? Dad's coming. Wait, then there's even more reason for us to go. You can't be alone with him. But I need to do this to divorce him. I need to talk to him. I'll be okay. It's in the hospital. So there'll be other people. Okay. But just be careful. Yeah. I'll be fine. Thank you so much, Rosie. But I haven't done anything. It's not like I ever have. I think I could be strong because of you. I noticed that our family situation was wrong thanks to you. If I was alone, I might have stayed with him and just become a husk of my former self. So really, thank you. I'm proud of you, Rosie, my daughter. Hey, you leech. Have you calmed yourself down? You've got some nerve making me pay for your hospital fees. It's partly your fault that I was put in the hospital, and I have been calm this whole time. I don't know why you think so. <laughs> I told you I'm not divorcing you, but you still wave those divorce papers in my face again. I went out of my way to visit you, but you still had to waste my time. You deserve to be hit again. Use your brain a little bit. You didn't have to visit me. The only reason you came is because you worry about what our neighbors and others will think of you. You always only care about how you appear to others. And if your public outward self looks good, even though you don't have the guts to be a jerk around people outside of our family. What? Say that again. I'll tell you as many times as you want. You're human trash. You came all the way to the hospital to beat me? Are you satisfied? Do you want me to hit you again? I could go back there again right now if you want another beating. It's not as if you can move from the bed. If you want to beat me, why don't you just go right ahead? It'll only cause you more trouble. I'm not in any trouble, but you sure are. If you weren't out of the hospital bed, maybe you could have gone to the police to file a report. Oh wait, you don't have any evidence. So I guess you can't anyway. They would think that it's just a bruise you got from when you fell down the stairs. 
Lucky me. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're such an idiot. Unfortunately for you, I've already filed a police report. Huh? How would you have submitted it already? How many hours do you think it's been since you came to see me at the hospital? I wonder how you can still act so tough. What are you talking about? You can't file a police report while you're hospitalized. And there's no evidence. The police wouldn't react to every case like this. Oh, I have evidence. A video recording of when you hit me earlier. There's no cameras in the hospital room. There's no evidence left from a camera that wasn't there. No, not cameras. I hid my phone and it was recording. How dare you? I'm coming right now. Just you wait. I'll smash your phone to pieces. You can't. I've told the hospital to not let you see me. You won't even be allowed in the hospital. Then I'll go to your parents' house. I'll give them a real bad time. Is that what you want, huh? Yeah? Why don't you go ahead and try? I told my parents to be ready for you whenever, and to call the police immediately if they see you. You'll just be arrested without even getting into the house. Did you seriously file a report? I already told you so. I got diagnosed by a doctor right after you hit me. I called the police and I was interviewed over the phone. I asked Rosie and Mom to file a report at the police station. They could do that on your behalf? Looks like it. I can't go anywhere. So I asked them to be my proxy. Are you serious? How dare you rebel against me like this? I won't let this go. Are you being serious, Kenneth? Rosie and I won't just do as we're told by you anymore. You can't threaten us with violence to get what you want. I'll move out and live with Rosie. Just the two of us. Rosie, I can't get hold of Mom. Do something. You can't get a hold of her? That's because she's ignoring your calls. You don't get it at all, do you? Who do you think you're talking to? You're talking to your father. I've never thought of you as my father. Hey, you spoiled brat. You've become so brazen like Marsha. I'm glad that I'm like Mom. That's enough. Put her on the phone now. No way. You'll just say hurtful things to her, won't you? If you don't like us, just get the divorce over with. Why this obsession with us? You wouldn't understand because you're still a kid. If we get divorced, she needs to raise you alone and work. It's impossible to do that financially. You don't want to experience a life of poverty, do you? I don't mind. As long as mom can leave you. It's not as if my current life is luxurious anyway. My phone is paid for by my grandparents. Mom bought everything I needed when I was younger from her savings before she married you. There's nothing you personally did for me. I feed you. Who do you think puts a roof over your head? I don't want to say this, but you just did the bare minimum. That's your responsibility as a parent who had a kid. Don't take it for granted. You should be grateful you have food and shelter. Oh, I am. I know there are parents who do crueler things to kids out there. But why do I need to compare you to other parents? You're deflecting the issue of your own failures. Where are you now? Your grandparents' house? It's none of your business where I am. I'll do anything to get you to withdraw this police report. That's a threat, right? Ugh. I need to report this to the police again. Are you saying you don't care what happens to your grandparents? We decided not to give in, no matter how much you threaten us. It's better than being afraid and caving into you. But I won't stay quiet if you use violence on anyone. If you're going to hurt someone, you better be prepared to get hurt yourself. I'm serious. Fine then. I'll divorce your mom. So withdraw the police report. What is with that authoritative tone? We have the upper hand here. No. Who are you to talk to me like that? I should have never had you. You're a failure since you were born from a failure after all. You'll be a woman who can't do anything, just like your mother. Your life is done. It's only going to go down from here. Hey, that's enough, Kenneth. Huh? It's me, Marsha. I've been watching this conversation on Rosie's screen. Oh, I see you're together now. You should have gotten back to me earlier. We don't have anything to talk about anymore, so stop this conversation. I hired a lawyer, so please contact me through him from now on. A lawyer? Where'd you get money from? I borrowed it from my parents. Huh. 
You are a leech after all. You're being so cocky, even though you can't do anything alone. Say what you like, I'll do anything to change the situation. We'll get divorced, and I won't withdraw the police report. So whatever you say from now will be a waste. I told you I'll grant that divorce. You should compromise a little too. You don't get the right to make decisions here. Don't you remember what you did to me? You hurt me, and you're a criminal. Ah. Uh. This is business between husband and wife. Police don't have that much free time. Just drop the report, because they won't take it seriously anyway. If you think so, then let's just leave it be. You must be panicking because you're worried you might be arrested. You really want Rosie's father to become a criminal. I'm her only real parent. You pretended to be a good father outside of the house. But at home, if things don't go your way, you take it out on us. You try to ruin my daughter's future, and the things she wants to do. How can you consider yourself as her father? It's the mother's role to raise the kids. I just need to work. That's why I let you be a stay-at-home mom. No, that's not it. You just wanted a robot that would do whatever you wanted. This environment at home is only toxic for me and Rosie. I'm fed up with being ordered around by you. But you've been quiet and listened to me our whole marriage. That's because I had feelings for you. I was expecting you would calm down if you could relax at home a bit more. So I tried to be patient, but I finally noticed I was wrong. What do you think others will think about me if I'm arrested? What's going to happen to my job? You see, you only think about yourself. You never think of me and Rosie. Not even a little. I'm the breadwinner. I work like a horse. So? I work for you and Rosie every day. Don't compare playing house with real work. That's ridiculous. It has been really tough to live with you for nearly 15 years. I always thought it was my fault for being berated by you. I totally thought that I couldn't live if you left me since I lost my confidence. You made me think in that way, so that's why I need to get away from you. Don't ruin my life. Everything I've built up will be gone. Then don't disturb us either. We have a bright future waiting for us. Rosie and I will start over. We'll do everything that we wanted to do. Why don't you start over with me? Huh. Would you look at that? I guess you really don't want to get divorced. Everything will be sorted out if we don't get divorced. It'll only be sorted out for you, right? You were a considerate man until we got married. Then you showed your true colors. You've been trampling all over my feelings. You need to take responsibility for that. If you're with me, you could be a housewife forever. My salary only increased with age. You could just relax. That just sounds like hell. It would be the same as being a slave. I got married to you because I thought you were submissive. What are you still unsatisfied with? I guess that's why I want to get a divorce. Since you just don't get it, I can't be with a man who can't make his wife and child happy. I don't need a failure of a husband. After that, Kenneth was arrested for domestic violence and were forced to pay me for emotional and physical abuse. A divorce was finalized shortly after. My ex-husband can't get close to me and Rosie because we put a restraining order on him. If he tries to get close or anything like that, he could be going to jail. I guess he doesn't want to be behind bars because I haven't heard from him recently. As Kenneth feared, rumors about him spread to his neighbors and work. He eventually got transferred far away through his job. I heard he's now really down. I just hope he won't cause anyone else problems in the future. He pays his child support and compensation for abusing me. Rosie and I have moved to our new place. I've got a job at a clothes shop now. I'm reflecting on if I could have run away from Kenneth earlier and relied on others for help. I can't help but regret it a little that I didn't, but I thought I couldn't live without him because I thought of myself as a failure. I was scared of him as well. My decision to leave him came quite late, so this caused Rosie to suffer. I'd like to let her do the things she wants to do to make up for it. I'd like to treat my parents well for helping me out a lot. But first, I'll focus on enjoy living with my daughter for now.